As of July 26, 2024, the world grapples with whether COVID-19 eradication is achievable. Despite progress in vaccination and treatment, the virus evolves into new variants. Vaccines prevent severe illness, hospitalization and death. Vaccine hesitancy and inequitable access pose hurdles to eradication. A multi-pronged approach is needed, focusing on global vaccination, equitable resource distribution and ongoing research. The dream of eradication may seem distant, but transitioning COVID-19 to an endemic disease remains a priority. The World Health Organization, a leading voice in global health, continues to emphasize the importance of a coordinated global response to the pandemic. They stress the need for equitable access to vaccines, diagnostics and therapeutics to effectively control the virus's spread. Within the US healthcare system, opinions on COVID-19 eradication vary. Some experts believe that while complete eradication may be challenging, achieving a high level of population immunity through vaccination and natural infection can significantly reduce the virus's impact. Others remain cautious, citing the emergence of new variants and the potential for waning immunity as ongoing concerns. Public opinion on COVID-19 and its eradication is equally diverse, with some remaining vigilant about preventative measures, while others have embraced a return to pre-pandemic normalcy. The COVID-19 pandemic has underscored the urgent need for global cooperation in preventing future outbreaks. The US government, in collaboration with international partners, is taking steps to strengthen global health security and enhance pandemic preparedness. These efforts include investing in early warning systems and bolstering surveillance networks worldwide to detect and monitor emerging infectious diseases in real time. Supporting research and development is also crucial for developing new vaccines, treatments and diagnostic tools to combat future threats. Strengthening global health regulations by working with international organizations like the WHO to improve coordination and response mechanisms during health emergencies is another key initiative. These initiatives aim to create a more robust and coordinated global response to future pandemic threats, learning from the lessons of COVID-19. Section 4. Remembering the toll, the human cost of COVID-19. The COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in an unprecedented loss of life, with millions of deaths recorded worldwide. The human cost of this pandemic extends far beyond the tragic loss of life, encompassing long-term health consequences, economic hardships, and profound social and psychological impacts. In the United States alone, the pandemic has claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of people, leaving a void in families and communities across the nation. The pandemic has also exacerbated existing health disparities, disproportionately impacting communities of color and highlighting the urgent need for equitable access to healthcare. Remembering the human cost of this pandemic is crucial as we navigate the path forward, serving as a stark reminder of the importance of public health measures and global solidarity. Section 5. The Evolving Science of COVID-19. Research and Insights. The scientific understanding of COVID-19 continues to evolve rapidly. Researchers worldwide are working tirelessly to unravel the complexities of the virus and its transmission. Recent studies have provided valuable insights into long COVID, affecting multiple organ systems. Ongoing studies monitor vaccine effectiveness against variants, crucial for public health strategies. Scientists are developing antiviral drugs and therapies to reduce illness severity. This research informs public health policies and treatment strategies. Section 6. Staying Vigilant. The importance of hygiene and understanding transmission. While the world adjusts to a new normal, it's crucial to remain vigilant about COVID-19. Understanding how the virus spreads and practicing good hygiene remain essential for preventing future outbreaks. COVID-19 primarily spreads through respiratory droplets released when an infected person coughs, sneezes, talks or breathes. 
Maintaining good hand hygiene is one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and other infectious diseases. Washing your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer can significantly reduce the risk of infection.